Hello, Mr. G here, and I'm going to show you two simple examples of hangman division with no remainder. So my first example here is 80 divided by 4. And what I need to remember is that when I'm doing 80 divided by 4, I'm trying to figure out how many 4s fit in 80. Here's how hangman can help us do that. First, I'm going to draw this line down, just like I'm playing that game hangman. And I'm going to take a guess at how many fours will at least get me close to the number 80. Well, I know that 4 times 10 equals 40. That gets me part way there. In fact, if you look over on the right, I'm starting at 0. I've now made it halfway to 80. I'm all the way up to 40. So 10 fours does that for me. Now, am I all the way there? No. How much further do I have to go? Let's subtract. 80 minus 40 equals 40. Now, I can go the other 40 very easily just by doing 4 times 10 yet again. 4 times 10 equals 40. So 10 more 4s gets me the rest of the way there. There's no difference here. 40 minus 40 equals 0. So now I've gone all the way to 80. How many 4s did it take to do it? Well, I did 4 times 10, and then I did 4 times 10 again. 10 plus 10 is 20. So that means 20 4s makes 80. 80 divided by 4 equals 20. Let's try one more example. In this example, we're going to do 72 divided by 6. Start by drawing my line. And again, I'm going to take a guess at how many sixes will at least get me close to 72. I know that 6 times 10 is 60. That gets me actually most of the way there. That's a pretty good jump. 72 minus 60 is 12. So I know that I'm only 12 away. How many sixes will it take? to uh, go the, that last 12, two more. Six times two is 12. 12 minus 12 is zero, which means I'm there. So how many sixes did it take altogether? It was 10 sixes plus two sixes. So that means that it was 12. 72 divided by six equals 12.